When choosing which keyword to target with a new piece of content, you're going to want to look at three things. First, the average monthly search volume. You basically want to find a keyword that has a high number of people looking for it. Next, you can look at the advertiser CPC and the keyword value. These are both indicators that the keyword is likely to lead to sales and additional revenue for your business. Lastly, you want to find a keyword that's relevant to your website because those are the ones that are most likely to have your potential customers looking for them. Once you've chosen a keyword that's interesting, you just click Analyze and paste in the URL of a representative page on your website. So if you're looking for a new keyword to target with a new blog post, you'll paste in a blog post URL. If it's a new keyword to target with your homepage, you'll paste in your homepage. If it's a catalog page, then you'll paste in a representative catalog page. Then just click Go. You can also manually enter any additional keywords that you'd like to analyze. So I'll just paste in a few here. And I'll go ahead and paste in a few representative URLs. A cool strategy is to pick a really strong page, an average page, and a really weak page on your website. And this will give you kind of a best case, worst case, and expected case scenario uh, with your keyword difficulty scores. And of course, you can enter a competitor URL to compare as well. Then just click on Can I Rank? And we'll analyze those for you as well. Once we've analyzed some keywords, we can click on the High ROI tab to see which ones offer the best balance between the keyword value and the ranking difficulty, which is represented by the ranking probability score. Just because something has a high ranking probability score doesn't mean it's the best keyword to target if there's nobody searching for that keyword. So we'll pick one here that offers a good balance between the two, and we can take a look at the report to get a better idea of what it would take if we want to target this keyword. So here's our best case, middle case, and worst case scenario for, for strong, middle, and weak pages. Uh, down here, we can start to get an idea of how strong the competition is and according to different ranking factors. So right off the bat, we see that we're doing good for website relevancy compared to the competition, but we're way below them compared to website strength. So if we want to be able to compete for this keyword, we're going to have to do a pretty good job with targeting it and get a higher page relevancy score than most of those competitors there that are kind of getting by on the strength of their links. Uh, and we're also going to want to be able to do a good job with our page external relevancy, which means getting some nice, rich uh, keyword links headed to that page. Um, and if we do that, then sure enough, we should have a good chance of ranking for this keyword.